U.S. Navy Seabees onboard Navy Support Facility Diego Garcia assisted Comsron 2 in a roll-on, roll-off, lift-on, lift-off evolution. So what we're doing this morning is we are bringing USNS Pomeroy Pierside and conducting a offload of seven vehicles that are interferences with an engine change out. And to change that out, we have to bring the ship pier side, roll seven large army trucks off of it, then the ship will go back and load the engine on, then the ship will go back to anchor, load our change out the engine, it's got the technicians on board, then once that's done, we'll bring it back pier side and put the vehicles back on it so that it can continue on with its mission. So today we came out to the USS Pomeroy to offload equipment off. The CBs here maintain the base and maintain all the BOSC operations as well as do these little jobs like this, operate equipment. Our skill sets set us up to do jobs like this. When they come and ask us, we can do it. Can do. Reporting from Diego Garcia, I'm Petty Officer Katrin Croker. If this was a land-based hospital, it would be the fourth largest in the country, and uh, it has four more trauma beds than LA County Hospital does. Uh, she has a thousand beds on board, and she can accommodate helicopters and boats, and you could receive battlefield uh, casualties as fast as you could get them on board. This hospital that we're running here is equivalent to anything that you would see in a major metropolitan hospital. All the equipment is up to date. So everything that we do here is of the highest uh, professional level. Our primary mission, of course, is always to stand ready to respond anywhere in the world to support our war fighters wherever they may be. We stand ready to deploy and head out to sea in under five days when that call goes out. As a secondary mission, uh, we're ready to respond to disasters. Both the Mercy and the Comfort have done that many times uh, over the past uh, couple of decades. It's not just a paycheck. You actually get to, uh, to change people's lives. It's amazing. It's incredibly rewarding and very humbling. We learn a, a great deal on every stop that we go to. I'd say if you got an opportunity to come to the Mercy, you uh, jump at it. Being a part of something very special is what I consider the Studio Station. I love the Mercy. I love what it does for our Navy, and I'm proud to be a part of that team. 